Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano. It's Dan here. I want to share with you um, an exercise that I've been looking at recently, and this is kind of as a response to a couple of students telling me that they were having trouble with finger dexterity, and also comments that I got on one of my YouTube videos, specifically um, with one of the exam pieces called Arabesque, where there's some passages with difficult 16th note semiquaver runs, um, which are pretty fast. <laughs> Uh, there's that in the right hand, and then there's something similar in the left hand. And they're just having trouble getting their hands around uh, getting those notes, you know, pronounced individually and kind of with, with a good rhythm to it. So let's take a look at um, an exercise that can help uh, sort that out and free your fingers up a little bit. Now, clearly, you can just go straight to the guru of piano finger exercises, Hanan. That's a great place to go for anything. Similarly, just practice your scales. You know, that's why scales exist, for developing finger dexterity, to get you used to the geography of different keys. But, take a look at this. Here's the right hand. Um, start on middle C, and we're going to exercise all of these fingers and get them moving individually. Simply play from your thumb through to your third finger and then back down again. And then repeat that. Then take the exercise the other way and go from your third finger to your thumb and back to your third finger. Okay. Now go from your third finger through your fourth to your fifth finger and back to your third finger. Then from your fifth finger to your third finger and back to your fifth finger. Okay, now from your thumb through to your fifth finger, run that through twice. And finally, from your fifth through to your thumb, again, run that sequence twice. You can do the same thing in the left hand. Clearly, your left hand is a mirror image. It's wired the other way around. And in fact, if we think about it, think about the different digits in your hand, you will find that your thumb, forefinger, and third finger are the three stronger fingers. By the time you get to your fourth and fifth fingers, those, they're a little bit weaker. They're the ones that are probably gonna require more practice. Anyway, let's do the same thing. We'll take it an octave lower. So here's C below middle C. And we're just gonna take the same exercise. Clearly everything's kind of a mirror image, but we're going to run from C up to E, back to uh, C again, do that twice. And then the other way around, third finger to fifth finger and back up to third finger. Okay, now E through to G. Flip it the, the other way around. And then C through to G, twice. And G down to C, twice. Practice this hand separately and glue all the exercises together so it just forms a continuous exercise. Once you've got comfortable with the sequence, stick a metronome on. I'm going to start at 90 beats per minute and play two notes per metronome click. One, two.
Same with the left hand. stability of each note, try and get them sounding the same length, the same weight, the same loudness. When you get happy with your ability at a certain speed, use that metronome to help kind of progressively take you faster and faster. So if you're starting somewhere around 90, maybe you want to start lower, maybe you want to start higher. But then when you, as you get comfortable, take it up in maybe five beat per minute intervals. So if we start at 90, take it up to 95. and so on. And then just keep going through the tempo, see how far you can push it. So for example, here's 150 beats per minute. Another way to slice and dice this is you could jump from playing eighth notes per beat, so two notes per beat, to four notes per beat. So if we roll 150, if we roll that back to, let's say, 100 beats per minute for now. Okay, and now we're going to play four notes per click. And you can practice the exercise again, like that. Now you're playing 16th notes effectively. that I was mentioning, Arabesque, um, the recommended tempo to play that at is 116, so here's the exercise with 16th notes at 116 beats per minute. if you want to go crazy with this, the composer's uh, recommended tempo for the same piece is 152 beats per minute, which is a little bit mental, but it's a bit like this. I hope this exercise has been useful for you. If it has, please do like the video. Leave some comments. Did it help you improve your finger dexterity? Or what would your recommendations be? What's worked for you? Let us know down below. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.